Hi, my name is Mons and I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2018 Mercedes-Benz Motorhome. This Mercedes-Benz Motorhome is a 2018 model. It's built by Forest River and it is a 2400 WS floor plan with a full body paint. I'm going to move over in the shade as I go and circle around and I'm going to show you things about it on this video. Very thorough video. If you want, you can fast forward, but I'm going to get into detail. Important points to note, this is a diesel. This is a Mercedes diesel motorhome. It does have stabilizer jacks on the back. I'm going to show you those. And it does have a towing package with a 7-pin connector here. It has a big backup camera up on the back. And it also has side view cameras. Side view cameras activate automatically when you turn on the turn signals. They're located right down here. Now, you look outside and this is a one slide out, but this has got a super full wall slide motorhome making this RV extremely, uh, extremely desirable because it's so much space inside when you open up the slide and we have a fully automatic awning outside it has uh, stereo speakers in the awning right in the awning pads pointed straight down with the awning open you have stereo speakers so you can be listening to your music or TV or whatever you want to hook it up to uh, is tied into the stereo system out there this does support an outside TV. You have outside TV connections right here. And it is also solar ready. That's where you connect your outside television. And you have a solar ready port so you can plug solar panels. If you do dry camping where you park in the middle of the desert or out far away from any source of power, you can connect solar panels so that you don't have to be running the generator all the time, which is really, really nice. That's a new thing solar ready so if you plug in optional solar panels any type of solar panels you can just plug them in there there's several brands or you can buy them from the manufacturer up on the front it has a clear bra it's a 3m film over the front so it protects the front from chips this has a gorgeous paint job on it earth tone gold and black and brown earth tone camouflage so you blend in it's not a big white eyesore parked in your backyard or in the campground this thing looks like a million bucks now the small mercedes-benz rvs these are like the laptop of the rv business you know your computer your old school laptop computer versus a desktop to computer in your office you know the laptop can do everything the desktop can do only does it smaller and it's portable that's what this is you know those big 35 foot or 40 foot RV diesels and people are towing cars behind because they can't maneuver a 40 foot diesel anywhere so they have to bring a car with them you don't have to worry about this this is your car and your motorhome so you don't need to tow a car behind but it does have that towing package on the back so you can tow a car behind if you want to but you don't need to it has a quick water fill port sorry about the wind it's windy here you can fill up with water with a garden hose fill up your water tank super quick and easy top it off and ready to go camp over here on the campground side external power port these are nice because if you leave this RV plugged in for months at a time in your backyard you don't have to worry about rodents crawling into the RV through the electrical port this is outside this is protected so critters can't get in also you can have your TV connected you can have your water hose connected right here and you don't have to worry about critters crawling into the RV this has an LP propane generator right here 
propane generators are extremely reliable and very affordable most likely they'll never need service for years and years because they're propane the carburetors don't have the problems of gasoline generators from lack of use this is on a Mercedes body Mercedes Sprinter dual rear wheels extremely stable driving vehicle I just drove this thing back from Las Vegas in because of the Mercedes diesel people always say what kind of gas mileage it gets okay that's a trick question there's a lot of frontal area here I have experience driving these type of motorhomes cross-country and here's what I can tell you your gas mileage will vary but in my experience cross-country if you cruise it 65 miles an hour taking it easy flat ground 65 miles an hour you can get 14 miles per gallon on a motorhome of this size and configuration I have experience doing that that's what I got but if you hard charge it this can go 85 miles an hour you set your cruise control I'm sorry 80 miles an hour you set the cruise control for 80 and you're going full blast and going over hills and stuff like that you're probably only gonna get 10 miles per gallon but that's still way better than the five miles per gallon you're gonna get driving one of these big 34 foot gas babies or even a diesel people all say oh yeah diesel get better gas mileage you have a lot of frontal area aerodynamic frontal area pushing it through the wind this is very aerodynamic it does have the clean frameless windows so the sides are clean but realistic gas mileage is 10 to 14. if you drive like really conservative you may be able to get 15. so mercedes-benz makes the diesel is a clean diesel technology with the blue tech uh, diesel and it does use def fuel additive it's a clear fluid that goes inside they give you a step on the front so you can step your foot up here to climb up clean the window inspect the front cap take a look up on the roof all the lights on it by the way are LED mini LED lights it's full body paint full body paint a lot of these are just fiberglass bare fiberglass and if you go park it in your backyard and let the Sun beat on it it'll it'll eventually have some problems over time unless you keep it waxed and washed or covered um, on the other types but the full body paint is more durable I still recommend that you keep it washed waxed and covered but uh, the full body paint looks fantastic you can go to any campground park next to a million dollar motorhome and you'll fit right in looking like this there's a lot of cargo storage on the left side there's a table this looks like it's never been used but it's a table that goes between the two front seats they have LED lighting that little light up there that's an LED area light which will make it easy to pull up into the campground additional long storage here you need two hands to open it long items fishing poles and stuff will fit in this compartment additional storage underneath large you know suitcases and things like that will fit in there <coughs> you have fiberglass stylish running boards your fuel fill is right here at the driver's door and I have two keys for this vehicle I locked myself out but that's okay I just hit unlock on the Mercedes remote if you want to add fuel it's right here you just flip this open you pull up to the diesel fuel pump and fill her up piece of cake this has a Schwintec style slide out mechanism very durable aluminum bar gear drive system for the slide out the advantage of this type of slide out mechanism is people don't think about it but when you put a slide out you're cutting a big hole in the side but because this has a four point of support two in the front two on the back it holds the RV rigid and it's like the holes not there this is part of the wall and it makes the RV stiffer and more stable less problems less creaks and less noises it's a very quiet driving motorhome 
LED tail lights, big LED light strip under the power main awning. All right, we're gonna go inside in a minute, but before I do, we're kind of in a semi campground here. I have the awning as open as far as I can go in this available space. You can open it all the way if you have room. I don't in this space, so it's partially open. And I'm gonna point out some things. We have the LED light strip in the main awning up here on and an LED patio light. The LED patio, LED patio light, instead of having a bulb that burns out over speed bumps, this is a nice setup. And there's another LED patio light over your hookup station that you can turn on. So when you're out hooking up or unhooking from a campground in the night, in the dark, you got a lot of light. The, the LED light strip is extremely bright at night, but uh, LEDs are less prone to attract bugs. So there's a big advantage that you're not gonna have as many bugs coming at you with the LEDs. And we've got speakers in the awning here. So I don't know if you can see up in the tip, you've got speakers. We have the stereo going. This is a whole coach sound system, entertainment system inside. It's very nice. So we've got music out here. It's not loud to bug the neighbors, but it's pointed straight down so you can hear it, even when the neighbors are making noise and stuff like that. A lot of the coaches, the speakers are on the side pointed away, but these are pointed down when the awning is fully extended. So let's go inside. Did I mention this is my favorite Mercedes uh, RV? I really like this floor plan. Me and my family want to go to New York and drive an RV back from New York. And this is like the perfect size. This is an open floor plan. Look how much floor space you have. For Mercedes, you know, this is not like a van motorhome. This is more like an SUV uh, motorhome. And you got a lot of room in here. Room to stretch your legs. U-shaped dinette. Speakers are also in the coach playing the same sound system. The different speakers around. I'm gonna turn that down so you just hear me. Your whole coach entertainment system so you can connect Bluetooth or CD or DVD or whatever you wanna to connect to it. USB, auxiliary jacks. It's a pretty nice setup. And as you see, we're getting over the air TV broadcast. Now this is TV from the antenna, not from cable. It's right now in my location, I can get 150 channels right here. Uh, and we're watching uh, news over the air. And what is this thing in front? This has a real easy to use seat belted cargo net. So if somebody wants to sleep up top, you can seat belt them in to the bed area so they're not rolling out seat belts unhook we're gonna we're gonna go around the RV and we're gonna get into detail on everything so first I want to show you how much room it is we have a full wall slide out this is why this is my favorite okay for a Mercedes diesel RV this has more room my first RV was an, a, a C-class with no slide there's a lot, and that was a 31 footer. This is shorter, so you can fit it into tight parking spaces. And I'll show you that when we test drive it. This can f basically fit in one or one and a half regular parking spaces. Um, and I have video of that on my tour here. You got two TVs. These TVs are powered by 12 volt battery power, so you don't need the generator running to watch TV. If you go somewhere, you park, Turn on the TV and take a break, watch TV. If you need to run the air conditioning, then yes, you have to start the generator or be plugged in. You can open up the bed here. Queen size bed, big windows with this blackout curtain roller shades. It's bright sunny day, but it's nice and dark in here. So if you want to sleep during the middle of the day, you can run the AC and block out all the sunlight. We have all these uh, reading lights. These are real nice, aimable reading lights can read a book at night or when you're resting or magazine it's got the state-of-the-art high-performance air conditioning system 
this size coach you only need one AC but this is the more powerful uh, Dometic AC they're extremely efficient and quiet it's running right now it's cool in here we got the master RV control panels up over the refrigerator you've got a large refrigerator this is an absorption style refrigerator a three burner cooktop this looks like a professional setup this is a newer heavier duty looking uh, cooktop with a slightly larger burner so you can cook faster than some of the older cooktops big single bowl stainless sink it's polished it's nice and shiny in there with a cover so you have additional counter space convection microwave oven we're going to talk about the oven now before I go on my tour further okay this has a microwave oven that cooks like a microwave but it also cooks like uh, a toaster as a convection oven so you can bake a cake in here or you can microwave something to warm it up it does both but you also get a regular oven propane powered and some campgrounds where you go like a national or state park they may have a curfew hour that says like after 8 p.m. you can't use your generator and if you show up at 8.15 and you want to cook dinner uh, in a hurry you do have a baking oven and a gas cooktop so you don't have to use a generator and if the coach is warm after driving you have this whole RV ventilation fantastic fan here this is four speeds it's very nice Got quiet low medium off through three speeds and it's in a weatherproof enclosure so you can leave this open even if it's raining outside or snowing outside you can leave this open and these other vents we added weatherproof vent covers so you can leave these open too so it's possible just to leave the roof vents open and have all the side windows closed that way potential troublemakers around don't even know that you have fresh ventilation coming through your coach but if you do have an opportunity like when you're cooking dinner you open these frameless windows right here and they open like so they open out you turn on that fan and all your cooking fumes will be sucked out the overhead fan it's much more powerful than using the cooktop here which you can also use to suck the fumes out I like the whole RV ventilation method better. Now we have a large restroom in here. This is a seven foot by three foot bathroom. And for motor homes, this is extremely large and you get a real aluminum and almost a glass enclosure. This is not glass, so it won't break. It's a rubberized material. But compared with a lot of motor homes I've experienced, they just give you a little curtain this is much better because the water will go down the drain not all over the floor not all over the bathroom this won't let you get water damage and it's a big shower let's go inside I'm not going to take a shower right now but I'm going to show you I'm 5'11 I have plenty of head clearance I had a housekeeper come in to make sure it was professionally cleaned um, they just were here uh, in the last couple days it's nice and of course this is barely used so everything looks like brand new for the most part not lived in or anything like that it's basically almost equivalent of brand new only we have gone through everything and make sure all the glitches are out of it so everything seems to be working there weren't much of any glitches to fix just a few one of the glitches I had to replace the bedroom TV I don't think it was defective. I think somebody damaged it by putting the screws through for the back too far. So this is actually a removable TV. So if you needed to set it outside and make it your outside TV, it just unclips and you can hook it up somewhere else. It comes with a base that you can attach if you want to do that. But right now it's a bedroom TV and it is brand new. It's a little bit larger than the original one. And it's 1080p, has a built-in DVD player on the side. The front TV as well, the TV DVD player is built right here in the side so you just load your disc in there and if you have guests that want to watch a movie 
they can but it also has HDMI input so you can plug in a video game console to either of these TVs and play video games on it nice big front TV the front TV is on a swing arm mount so when you're driving if you don't need to use a TV you tighten this up and lock it into position or you release the locks you put it into a position so you can watch it from the dinette and then lock it in I do recommend putting a, a book or something or a pillow to support the edge so when you're going down a bumpy road that this is supported it tends to be a, a thing you want to do it is very heavy duty but that's just me I would put something under the tip to support it so it stays in place and doesn't have torque on the mount when you're driving down the road um, this centerpiece can fold up so that you have easier access to the front now we're going to talk about the front the front seats of this coach are really cool because they include booster seats you know little kids need booster seats right adults don't need booster seats but here's the thing these seats are nice they swivel around so you can enjoy the conversation with your guests this ladder of course stows away it's easily stored right there just like that and then you have the seat but the seats are at driving height so Forest River in their infinite wisdom gave you a booster seat so you can sit here you have a table which can turn and you can sit here and you can sit with your legs at a comfortable height see my legs uh, if you don't have the booster seat your legs will be like this let me demonstrate a lot of coaches don't give you the booster seats so if you didn't have the booster seats your legs go straight out like this which makes it hard to get up but by putting the booster seat here you're at a more comfortable seating height so that when you're enjoying the conversation you don't look like you're taking in a nap with your legs straight out to trip people much more comfortable now I suppose Forest River would sell you some or you can have an upholstery shop make you some if you bought one of these motor homes that doesn't have the booster seat but I recommend just buy this one before somebody else does because it does include the booster seats now you've got a U dinette over here extremely nice U dinette the table comes off super secure stable lock-in here's another reason why I love this motorhome look the table mount is mounted on the slide out platform I bought some RVs that are based on the Mercedes and the table doesn't go in the slide out the table goes in the floor of the motorhome and for example like the Thor CS does and then if you want to put the slide in you have to take the table out or move it to another hole so then you have a hole in the big center of your floor this is much better this is quality right here really like this and you've got cup holders so if you're sitting in the dinette enjoying your TV while the coach is driving down the road with your seatbelts on um, you can enjoy yourself it's very nice uh, very comfortable I like this better than a couch in this position now you've got a bed up here that can sleep one definitely two usually so two people could sleep snuggled up and if you're worried about falling out you buckle yourselves in so you're not going to roll out of bed in the nighttime that's that's a nice feature this could sleep one person right here because this lowers down to a sleeping position and of course on the queen bed you have sleeping for two right there so we're now up to five people we have a privacy curtain that we can lock into position right there I'm working one-handed but I, I can try to lock that in and there you go the curtain is closed so there's a little bit of privacy for the bedroom and yet look at all this floor space there's room to inflate an Intex airbed right here so two four five 
six people can sleep accommodated in this motorhome or if you just want to do sleeping bags even more but um, I only counting beds uh, there's quite a bit of room on the floor here that's the real advantage of this motorhome now this RV from the factory came with four seat belted positions but it also came with mounting holes for two additional sets of seat belts. So from the factory they give you four seat belts. Two in the dinette and one in each front seat. But I did look inside the compartment and there's additional hole where a additional seat belts could be mounted in there. If you wanted to have additional seat belts added in uh, for up to seat belting for six people. Now that may not be sanctioned by the factory, but it is uh, easily uh, capable to be done. Just a matter of buying a couple seat belts from the auto parts store like Napa and installing them. It's not that a, not an expensive thing to do. It's super easy. Now while we're talking about the dinette features, the dinette has USB ports. You got four of them right here, so you can plug in your gadgets right here to the powered USB port. Uh, LED lighting, this coach has all LED lighting, much of it on switches. AC 110 volt outlets, which will work if you're plugged in or on generator. And then um, you got a pantry here, directly across from the kitchen. Your pantry. And this one comes with four extra pantry shelves. So it's very usable. A large wardrobe cabinet. And there's actually a pillow top mattress for uh, the top bed if you wanted to use that. I have it stuffed in here, but there's places to hang your clothes in here. And it even has room behind. And these feature these LED lights, lighted compartments. When you open the door, the light comes on. Very nice. Here's an extra cushion for when you're turning the dinette into a place to um, to sleep. It's a very nice setup. So if we go back to the back bedroom, I've had Mercedes motorhomes with two slide outs. This is better. This is a full wall slide out. Why is it better? Look how deep. It goes out deeper than my arm. That's like a 36 inch extension. 36 times the length of the motorhome really opens this place up. Now this bed is clean and nice. The linen was wrapped up in a dry cleaning thing. So this is cleaned or barely used bedding. There's no stains or anything in it. But it's designed with a wedge setup so that it slides right in. This part goes over the top. So it's not possible to sleep here if the slide is in, or it, I'll say it's not practical if the slide is in to sleep here. So you can go to campground or Walmart or a rest area park where you can open the slide out over a grassy area and set up and rest. I recommend campgrounds myself, but some of the rest areas you can do that as well sit here with a TV going if you'd like and I'm gonna re-emphasize it's 12 volt powered running off the battery so the TV doesn't use hardly any electricity at all I mean if you four dollars and fifty six cents of electricity a year that's not very much it's just running on battery power right now there's additional storage drawers that you can access from the privacy of the bedroom and because this is a flexible curtain there's also a cabinet right here under the bed where you have room to stow shoes, boots, things like that. Your bed features these USB ports, powered USB ports, plus AC 110 volt power. And this is your safety uh, poisonous gas sensor detector thing right there. For hazardous fumes, exhaust or whatever. Refrigerator, we said we would talk about that. This is an absorption refrigerator. The advantage is this will last a long time just on the RV's batteries. 
It uses propane and 12 volt power. If you're driving down the road, you leave the refrigerator on. Doesn't matter if you're going up hills, down hills, it's fine. Um, when you're driving, you leave the refrigerator on when you're driving. It runs on absorption technology, so it will get cold and stay cold. And then when you go to the campground, it'll run on 110 volts. Absorption refrigerators don't use a compressor. They use a, a mixture of ammonia and water running through some coils. In the back, they go to a flame, expand, go to the top. And then once they flash from a vapor to a, a, a liquid, it gets freezing cold inside. That's how they work. It's old technology. It works really well. You've got level testers right here to tell you what your fluid levels are, black tank, gray tank, battery level, etc. You've got electric and gas water heat. That's really nice so you can take nice long hot showers. Onboard water pump so you can use the water, take a shower anywhere. You don't have to be hooked up. Arctic pack. Your Arctic pack lets you um, keep your tanks from freezing if it drops below freezing. So you can still drain your tanks and stuff like that. Your LED light controls right here. Generator start and stop. Your uh, driver's side outside light. So when you're hooking up at night, you come here, you turn this on, and then you have light over your hookup area so you can see what you're doing. So you don't trip and fall or anything else out in the dark. Right here is your master uh, fuses and circuit breakers for your AC power and your DC power. Everything is working and not having any problems with fuses. Right here is your AC control, which is a illuminated touch. This is Dometic. It's a drastic improvement from the older design with a nice, easy to read display. Touch to change the temperature. Change the mode from heat to fan to um, AC to off. And then we have wall switches to turn the lights on and off which is easy some people like little ones or if you have old bones it's hard to reach up to the ceiling to turn the lights on and off so it's really nice to have these mid wall light switches and this wall uh, treatments are look really nice clean this remember barely had 2,000 miles of consumer use on it it's a really nice virtually new motorhome so I've come up to the top bunk here to show you how much room. I said I'm 5'11", maybe 200 pounds, more or less. And I fit up here, cozied up in the corner here. There's definitely room for another person up here. No problem. So two adults will definitely fit up here. You have the room for it. And then with this cargo net seat belted in, you can strap this even tighter to prevent you from pushing somebody off or them rolling off on their own. You have a privacy curtain, not all of them do, but this one has a privacy curtain up here so you can close off this top bunk. You've got stereo speakers so you can listen to music instead of someone else's snoring. And you've got an AC vent up here to keep it ventilated and cool if you run the AC when you're up here. And of course you have a giant television if you want to leave the TV on and watch that or not. Alternatively, you can put the TV in the other position. Um, I can unbelt it and put the seatbelt behind and then it's facing forward so people can watch TV while you sleep up here in privacy. The lights are LED. They have touch switches right there. And then we have a window if we want to look outside, see what's going on outside. You can check looking out the window. Very nice. While we're up in the top bunk, we can even reach the whole RV stereo system and adjust it if we wanted to. It has different speaker zones. It has speaker zone A, B, and C. So you don't have to run the outside speakers. You can turn off the different zones and only have sound where you want it. Maybe just up here. 
So this has this center table, which can easily remove, especially if you have a, a free hand. Set it out of the way. And then these seats swivel around so you can drive. Maybe take the booster seats off, set them to the side, swivel around and you're ready good to go for a drive if you want if you need more head clearance flip this cushion out of the way and then you have easy access to the driver's compartment here the seats swivel there's a little knob right here to release the swivel mechanism on each seat they swivel around without interference so with the table removed you have easy access to the front seat you can hop in the front and I'm going to show you when I was up on the bunk, this black baggie here includes your magnetic window shades, which is a really nice feature that they offer with this motorhome from Forest River. I like Forest River. I'm happy with that brand. But these magnetic window shades attach magnetically and they're insulated. So you just pull them down and fold them up and you're ready to drive. Now the big one is for the front window. I didn't put that in because I need some light in here. They're like total blackout to completely black out all the light. I need to film in here so when it's too dark it makes it hard to see what I'm filming. These are nice. This is a nice chassis. It's got power windows, power mirrors, Steering wheel controls. Not all the Mercedes give you steering wheel controls. This one is the nicer uh, body with the steering wheel controls. We're going to take this sucker out for a spin. We're going to look underneath really quick. You've got these uh, privacy shades. You've got storage cubbies up above where you can stow your maps and whatever travel brochures and things. You've got a microphone for your blue, uh, Bluetooth hands free calling. So when you're driving, it's very quiet in the Mercedes. It's not a loud diesel. It's a front engine diesel, but it's very quiet. So when you set your cruise control at 80 miles an hour and a phone call comes in, you just take it through the stereo and your microphone is right here. So you don't have to be reaching for your phone. There's a lot of extra cubbies up on the dashboard for additional map, Kleenex boxes, whatever you want to put up there, you can put all your stuff or you can leave nothing up there and keep it spotless. That's the way I like it. It's a very nice, set up drink holders unused cigarette lighter if you need a cigarette lighter they have one but it's this one has never been used um, it has a giant floor mat that looks like carpet and underneath it's a, a vinyl floor like a cargo van floor which makes it easy to keep clean up, up here looks really good Mercedes has a cool uh, parking brake feature which if I put my camera in the right angle to set the parking brake you pull it up and then you push it down it's locked the parking brake is locked but this is not in the way so the seats can turn when you want to release the parking brake you push the button pull up and that releases the parking brake it's very cool uh, but if you don't know how to use it like a car thief wouldn't be able to steal it because they couldn't figure out how to take the parking brake off Because of these blackout curtains, you should leave these whenever you store the motorhome because you don't want light shining in on your beautiful interior upholstery. The seats look like brand new and they'll stay looking like that if you keep the sun off of them when you're storing it. So whenever you're not driving it, that's important. And then up on the front we have the Pioneer high quality uh, screen. Uh, capable of uh, side view cameras that's the left side camera because I just turned on my left turn signal I got the left side view camera I turn on the right side view camera and then I get the side view so if you're worried if there's somebody behind beside you in your blind spot you can look at the side view camera before you make a lane change or a turn it looks right down the side so you can see what's going on 
of course we have the slide out open so you can see that before you take off and forget to close the slide out you can check everything when that's off we get the backup camera view the radio this is a pioneer premium stereo it is upgradable to a pioneer with apple carplay if you need apple carplay it's a very nice feature that includes google navigation based on your smartphone or you can upgrade it to a um, uh, Android CarPlay equivalent, uh, depending on your preference. It's just a matter of changing the radio head unit. Literally just unplugs the old one and plug in the new one. You may want a stereo shop to do it, but the wiring is basically the same. It's a very nice, high-performance stereo with a touch screen. So you got AM, FM, CD, USB port right here, so you can plug in your USB devices easy to access settings and Bluetooth and all those features it's super easy and this supports Sirius satellite uh, radio as well um, but again if you need the Apple CarPlay that is available from uh, the Pioneer uh, line just let me know hey I need the Apple CarPlay with navigation As it sits right now, it does include a remote control that controls the Pioneer radio. And of course, that should work if you upgrade to the Apple CarPlay uh, or Android CarPlay as well. There's a cost to do that. Just let me know. It's not that much. It's just a couple hundred bucks for full-featured uh, Apple CarPlay navigation. So I've just put the slide in, and a lot of people ask, what's it look like with the slide in? This RV has no carpet in the house, so it's a sweep it clean, mop it clean flooring. Easy to clean, no odors. Even if you let your dog go in and he pees on the floor, it's not carpet, so it won't retain an odor. There are no odors in here. But with the bed folded, it folds itself in half. Theoretically, it could be slept on sideways, but um, as far as walkways go, we still can get all the way past the bed. So walk around bed still. It's a full wall slide. See that the whole wall comes in. Comes in a lot, but there's still room to move from front to back. Easy access to the restroom. Restroom access is not affected. You can still get right into the restroom, no problem. So driving down the road, you have restroom access. Cabinet access, dinette access, upper bed, you can still access it as well if you didn't have a chance to put the slide out. So we're going for a little test drive of this Mercedes uh, Benz motorhome. We have excellent visibility from the front cab here. The Mercedes has a very large front windshield, easy to see mountains in front of you and trees and nice things that you want to look at like that but we still have some shade over us from the overhang from the front cab and then right now we have the backup camera displaying on the navigation screen there so if we go over bumps in the road we have the backup camera I'm going to turn on my left turn signal and then we have the left turn display right there going to back it up on this little cul-de-sac here. I'm going to do a three-point reverse turn, make sure nobody's behind us. I'm going to put it in reverse. I'm going to watch my mirrors and the camera as I turn. I've got my backup camera. I've got my mirrors. The advantage of the Mercedes like this there's as much room inside as some of the A-Class motorhomes. Sleeping capacity for five or six people. And yet, you can fit it in these normal parking spaces. One of the problems I have, I drive about 8,000 miles a year on RV trips across the country. Shuttling and RVs around and so forth. And the problem with these uh, RV trips is when we go to a nice place like Yellowstone Park want to go get out and look at some geysers or something like that there's no place to park a big motorhome but this one will fit in the same space 
as a dually pickup truck pretty much so you can still get it into a parking space when the larger motorhomes are stuck with nowhere to go a lot of these parks have RV only parking but then you'll find a little Volkswagen Beetle parked right in the middle of it so it's like well you can't fit your big RV because some genius parked their Volkswagen Beetle in the way so we have excellent visibility out the mirrors left mirror right mirror again I've got my left turn signal see that right turn signal they activate the side view cameras and then when they're not activated I can have my backup camera display or the radio display just driving around piece of cake to drive let's go park it in a parking spot so we're going to do an acceleration test we're doing zero and I'm hitting the gas it is a turbocharged diesel engine so now we're doing 30 40 45 and 50 decent acceleration the nice thing about these turbo diesels they have so much torque when you're going up a mountain pass going up 4,000 feet 5,000 feet 7,000 feet or someplace like yeah, uh, Yosemite which they have a pass at 9,000 foot elevation you have a turbocharged engine so the turbo compresses the air so it can still breathe at these high altitudes and has the torque to pull you right up these mountain passes you don't have to pull over and let all the faster vehicles go by like the gas engines now it's still heavy but it's got a lot of power to weight ratio especially a torque to weight ratio is very good with this motorhome yet it still gets great gas mileage just cruising along you're probably going to get 14 mpg and if you flatline it at 80 miles an hour across country up and down hills it's going to go down to around 11 so uh, 11 to 14 mpg is what is reasonable to expect the generator runs on propane so that does not affect your gas mileage to run it to a parking space now you know these Mercedes are capable of a top speed of 80 miles per hour and they're safe at that speed I've driven these Mercedes at 80 miles an hour where it's legal on numerous occasions including in Texas and other states and here's some parking spaces over here let's back into a left-hand parking space gonna pick a parking space here we're gonna be up against the building so rolling into the parking space straighten out go forward once back it up into a single parking space I can over go over the sidewalk a little bit as long as the sidewalk is not, not too high. Nice thing about the backup camera, I can see straight down. Backed in. Let's see how we fit in here. Now you have to watch out when you're backing up if there's any poles or trees or bushes. But look, we fit in a single parking space. Let's go look at the back, see how we did. We're over the sidewalk a little bit. Pedestrians and stuff like that uh, may have a problem. But if you park far enough away from the entrance, you're not going to impact someone in a wheelchair or something like that. They'll be in the handicapped spaces. we got plenty of ground clearance under here. So you got enough ground clearance, even if the curb were twice that height, you'd be okay. And we could actually go back further, except there's some bushes behind us. If we had picked a different space like this one, we could have gone even closer to the building. Without risking any damage. You do have to be careful, but you can fit it in a single parking space. And you can't do that with these big 
34 foot A class or 45 foot A class, you need a bus parking for those. This one will go anywhere. So we're up on the roof, taking a look, inspecting. This has a full fiberglass roof. Very durable roof here. You have a King uh, high performance digital TV antenna, weatherproof vent cover. And uh, I have two additional vent covers, weatherproof vent covers for those vents. Giant power main awning with speakers and your slide topper awning to protect your slides. When you're parked in the, under a big tree and squirrels and birds are dropping acorns on you, they just roll off the sides. Giant skylight up here. Let's go underneath and take a look underneath. So as we wrap up this video, I'm going to take a look at the diesel engine up here. This is a Mercedes-Benz diesel, 3 liter diesel engine, very nice engine, clean air technology, uses the Bluetech DEF, DEF is not a big deal, it's just a, a little fluid you have to add or the Mercedes dealer will do it for you when you do the oil changes. It's a turbo diesel. The turbocharger compresses the air going in so it still has air at high altitudes and things like that. Tires of course only have like 4,000 miles on them. They're in great condition. Let's go underneath and take a look at some of the underside. I'm going to crawl down on the creeper here. So let's go underneath and take a look underneath. Starting this motorhome has these stabilizer jacks which is really nice. A lot of the Mercedes don't have any kind of jacks. C-Class in general, a lot of them don't have any jacks. But you've got these stabilizer jacks. It's got spray foam sprayed underneath to keep the, and these um, heating blankets uh, underneath the uh, water tanks. You actually get a spare tire, which is not common on vehicles these days. Uh, most motorhomes don't have a spare tire, but this one does. Your tires are in great condition. Exhaust, of course, in great condition. Looking underneath, no leaks. Your propane tank underneath, automatic entry step. Running boards, painted fiberglass running boards, mud guards. Mud guards are nice keep mud from splashing up underneath your vehicle front tire treads no leaks under the diesel engine just looking underneath here spray foam sprayed on insulation that's your um, Mercedes fuel tank right there Roto-molded cargo storage so they don't rust. Even if you went driving through a snowstorm, there's no rust on the cargo compartments and never will be. Your black and gray dump location here. And your towing package right here. Trailer hitch is rated for 4,200 pounds or 420 pounds, so it's a V4.2 towing package. You got a seven pin connector right here and your big heavy duty receiver. This is the rating that the Mercedes chassis offers for towing. So it's easily tow a, a vehicle, a pickup truck, SUV, or boat or something behind. So my name is Mike Johnson. Check out my website, see if this RV is still available. A Buyer's Choice is the company name. MyBestCar.com is the website. Just go on MyBestCar.com, see if this RV is still available. If it is, you can give me a call. 951-681-2101. That is a landline number. Thank you.